Unit 2, Measurement, Section 2.1, Introduction to the Metric System. So most countries in the world use the metric system, also known as the Système Internationale, or SI. Let's take a look at the base units of measure in the metric system. First of all, we've got length. All length on the metric system is based around the meter. And the symbol for a meter is an M. All mass in the metric system is based around the gram. And the symbol for a gram is a G. And all volume in the metric system is based around the liter. And its symbol is an L. I'm going to use a handwriting L because a printed L looks just like a 1, and we don't want to get those confused. Now, I say that these are the base units of measure because all the other units are based upon these. And we use prefixes to change the size of the unit. Here are our basic prefixes. Kilo means a thousand, so if we have a kilometer, that's a thousand meters. Hecto is a hundred, that symbol is an H. There are a hundred meters in a hectometer. Deca means ten, so if I've got a decaliter, that means I've got ten liters. Going down below this line, we start looking at fractions of a unit. A deci. So a decigram is a tenth of a gram, or 0.1 of a gram. Centi, just like a centimeter. There are a hundred centimeters in a meter. So one centimeter is a one hundredth of a meter, or 0.01 of a meter. And milli. A milligram is a thousandth of a gram. So there are a thousand milligrams in a gram. Now while these are all a part of the metric system, they're not all in common use. In fact, you mostly only come across kilo and milli. Those are the commonly used ones. Centimeters also commonly used, but only in length. It doesn't fit in there quite as well. When we look at the metric system, we look at the base unit first, and then there's often a prefix on there. All units will have a base unit. In this case, it's a meter. And here I've got a D. D stands for decimeter, and a decimeter is 0.1 of a meter. I want you to be careful because deci and deca look very similar. Deca is DA, deci is just a D, and you have to keep them straight. So HL, let's look at the next one. Well, that L stands for liter, and the H, that's hectoliter. If I go back to my previous chart, I realized that there are uh, 100 liters in a hectoliter. It's going back here under hecto. That's 100. So that is 100 liters. And notice I used the handwriting L so I don't mistake it for a 1. CG. Next one. Well, that G stands for gram, and C stands for centi. That's a centigram. And there are 100 centigrams in a gram, so it's 0.01 grams. Km, we've dealt with this one before. That's kilometer. That's our standard unit of measurement for long distances. And there are 1,000 meters in a kilometer. Dag, that's decagram. Going back down here, decagram. If I go back to my chart, deca means that there are 10 and we're looking at grams, so there are 10 grams in one decagram. Next, ML, that stands for milliliter. And there are a thousand milliliters in a liter, so one milliliter is a thousandth of a liter. So really what you need to do is you need to memorize the base units, and then you have to take a look at each of those prefixes and understand which one is which. It's also important to know which ones are bigger than the unit and which ones are smaller. But once again, in the real world, you deal with milli, you deal with kilo, and sometimes you deal with centi.